My name is Jeremy Shulman, and I am the developer advocate for Abstra. And today what I'd like to do is show you a short automation tutorial for intent-based analytics. Josh Saul, our solutions architect, recently presented a webinar entitled Intent-Based Analytics Prevent Network Outages and Grave Failures. And in this webinar, he discussed a GitHub repository that contained a library of our AOS 2.1 IBA probes. And what I'd like to do today is show you how to use that. So in our GitHub uh, repository, we have a number of these predefined turnkey probes that are built into AOS. But we also exported these as a separate library so that you could learn how these probes are created and you can use these directly. Now, I'm going to uh, show you how to use these using an interactive Python approach. And what we're going to do is uh, borrow some technology from the uh, data science community called Jupyter Notebooks. So we get to do automation programming in Python without having to set up a complex editor or write hardcore uh, Python scripts. We'll just kind of interactively do this. Now, what's great about this is that we provided you all of the Juniper notebooks as part of this GitHub repository. So I'm going to take you through the steps of starting and installing um, the IBA probe library and starting Jupyter uh, notebooks. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so what we're showing you here is our GitHub repository for our IBA probes. And what you can see is we have a library of code as well as documents. If we go into the documents section, you'll see a number of these IPYNB files, and these are Jupyter notebooks. And the demonstration that I'm gonna to do today is the headroom uh, demonstration. And when you select one of these notebooks, you can see that this is a uh, more or less step-by-step -step tutorial that mixes text and code along with pictures and information that describe how to use these probes. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clone this repo onto my laptop so I can use this Jupyter Notebook. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna set up a virtual environment because I always use virtual environments for my demos. Now I will activate my demo environment and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to git clone this repository. So I will just copy this from here and do a git, go into this directory and then do a git clone. Okay, and then I can go into this IBA directory and I can see that I have this here. So now to install this library, I can say uh, python setup.py install. And so we can see that we have these, this IBA probe library. I have a couple of dependencies I'd like to also install. So I'm gonna say pip install the abstra AOS PY client. So this is the client library that we use to talk to our AOS server. And I'm going to install uh, the IPython uh, version five and the Jupyter Notebook system. So because I'm using Python 2.7, um, I need to explicitly install IPython 5. If you're using Python 3, um, you can just install the Jupyter Notebook without doing the IPython and it will automatically pull in the right one. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go into the docs directory and I am going to start the Jupyter Notebook system. So I would just say Jupyter Notebook here. And what this will do is this will open up a new web browser page. And here I can see all of the Jupyter Notebooks. And I'm gonna select the headroom. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna clear out all of the output so that I can execute this notebook uh, for myself. So I'm gonna to go to cell and then I'm gonna do all output and I'm gonna clear. And you'll see all the numbers kind of went blank because now I'm going to re-execute each of these cells using my environment. So what I have here now is I've got a side-by-side -side view of my AOS system and this Jupyter Notebook. And I have a AOS server at this address. So what I wanna do is I wanna change this variable to use this address.
and my blueprint name is this value. So I'm going to copy and paste this value here for my blueprint name. And if I want to execute a, a, a cell in a Jupyter Notebook, I just hit Shift Enter. So you can see like this number basically means I've executed this cell. And now I'm going to um, run this next cell so that I create a client to my server. And the next cell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a variable to the instance of my blueprint. So I'm going to hit enter here. And then if I wanted to see the blueprint ID value and I hit shift enter, you can see that this value is actually printed. And this ID value actually is the same as you see here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this headroom probe that came out of our GitHub library. And if I wanted to see details about um, this particular function, I can use this question mark in front of it. And what you'll see down here at the bottom of the page is the Python doc string. So you can see that this function takes a, uh, a label, which is the name of the probe that we're going to create, and then a source node label and a destination node label. And these are basically are the starting and, and ending endpoints of our headroom demo. So I'm going to kind of close this down here. And so what we'll do is we'll set up some variables. So I'll say I want to create my um, probe. And I'll give it, you know, my name. So I'll just say, you know, Jeremy Headroom Probe. And what this is going to ultimately do is under our dashboard analytics, you can see that there are no probes here. So what I want to do is I want to create a Jeremy Headroom Probe. And then I have to give it the names of the source node label and the destination node label. And here, this Jupyter Notebook is showing you where you get those values. And I will also kind of follow along. If I wanted to uh, use the nodes view here, I can select this nodes view and I can see that here are all my server names. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you another way, since one is already documented, that if I wanted to go from this server in my topology, so rack one server one, which is right here, rack one server one, and I wanted to go to a end node. This is rack two underscore two underscore server one, which is right here. These are the variables that I'm picking. Okay, so I'm gonna hit uh, shift enter to run that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to then create the body of my probe from this function. And what that's doing is that's constructing all of the stages that Josh talked about for a particular probe, because this is what this library function uh, does. And if you wanted to look at that, you could dump the JSON data, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, what I'll do is I'll, I want to uh, create this probe. So here I'm saying, I want to create a URL to this particular API in our library. And from that, I can see that this is the URL that I'm going to execute. So I'm going to do a post on this URL, given this JSON data which is this next line right here. So here I'm saying run that post and get me back the response. And the response is just a standard requests response. And here I can see that the request was okay. And now I will get the, uh, the ID of that probe out of that response and print it out. So I can see like this is, the, this is kind of our ID to that probe. Now at this point, the tutorial is showing me that I should have a probe in my UI. So if I go here to my dashboard and go to analytics probe, I can see that sure enough, I just created the Jeremy Headroom probe. And if I scroll down here, it will show you how to navigate to this picture. So I'm going to do the same and I'll click on this information. And you can see that here is the same picture. So if I had traffic running through my system, we would actually see this showcase some variable data, but since I don't have any data, I have maximum headroom, meaning that I have you know full 10 gigabits available through my system. And finally, uh, if I wanted to delete this probe, I can just uncomment out these lines here, which I will do. And I will then execute this. So this basically said I've deleted my probe and now I can see that my probe has disappeared. So if I kind of go back to this dashboard and go back to analytics, you can see that the probe is gone. 
So this is a um, just a short tutorial on how to take advantage of our IBA probes in our GitHub repository. And again, if you're interested in looking at the actual code, uh, you can go into this directory here and see each of the Python files that make up the probe definition. And again, for this demonstration, I used a headroom.py file. So I hope you found that uh, this uh, tutorial was uh, of interest. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us and uh, look forward to presenting future automation tutorials for you.